What's up guys and welcome back, it's Pope John Paul here with another episode of our Imperator Mastodon campaign. As you may be able to see, um, I've managed to make peace with Phrygia. I did it off screen because, um, well we've been in a bit of trouble and I don't think I can win this war. Phrygia is far too strong, looking at cohorts, money, manpower not so much, but um, we are in a very tight situation so I'm not going to um, continue this war. I'm going to rebuild and we will um, try again for another, another, I don't know, someone else. That's what I'll go with. Bribe that guy because he doesn't like us. So how many, you're the sixth Stratos, you just go like over there. And you're the second Stratus. I really need to re rename all these because my OCD is going to be annoyed that it's not all the same. First Stratus. Um, no. Uh, thank you for the gift, though. And the Olympic Games has happened. Um, that's what's really annoying that you do that. Second Stratus. And oh, I'm getting lots of gifts from people. Maybe I should have carried on the war. Maybe they were all like, "Yeah, you go and take out Phrygia. Send us up the." Oh, I don't want you to be third. I wanted you to be fourth. Oh, I've got to do this all over again. So much effort. There's like actual. There's people like, oh yeah, I've, I've done a really hard day's work and I'm just like, I've been renumbering armies and it's, oh, it's so hard. It's really not. I'm very grateful that I can do this. Blessings of Hades. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having really good days uh, or night, wh whatever it is, whenever you're watching this. Um, and that work or school, whatever is it. Being kind to you and stuff like that. I think if I can get Papyrus, I just thought that's what I want. Yes, I can. From Memphis, Egypt. So now we are, should be bringing in. Now we should be importing. Oh, we actually were importing already Papyrus. Oh. Uh, oh, well, we'll we'll boost the amount of Papyrus we're bringing in. Um, and then we've got two people ransomed, but I don't think we'll get either of them back. Just wait a little longer. Oh god. Okay, some reason like it. I thought that was a smart idea. I could spend money on getting them back. I'll, I'll spend money on getting this guy back. There you go. Money spent. Probably very badly, but hey. Spend money on granaries. Get more growth. And training camps. Because training camps are always needed. Um, so now we have four armies again. We need a fifth, realistically, I think. I'm going to put one in Thrace. Because I think Thrace will be one of the people we want to take out. Byantia is the other, but it looks like Fridge is beating us to that. Which is brilliant. Let's see if I can beat, take a bit of Byantia. Steal this little bit. Yeah, we're not going to get any, any more. So, uh, I'll wait that out. Oh no, that's annoying. Fridge, you just took the last bit. Ah. Oh well. So I now no longer have... Actually, I probably now have a claim on... That's silly. The claim should go over to... Now that I have a claim on Byanthia. Inferior. On Phrygia. But, we will... We'll live with that. I just need to hope that Phrygia breaks up because it's really strong and there's no way I can beat it. I need to make some alliances. Seleucus would be a good person to make an alliance with. Or the Egyptians. Both don't really like me enough. 
The sluices are also surprisingly still in. Uh, okay, I'm just getting quite a few. Um, yes, yeah, surprisingly, the sluices are still together. That's what I was going to say. They're doing pretty well. So I might 72. There you could probably push out possibly 100 if they wanted to. I could. And I will pump out another army. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Sorted. Right, and now we want research is going up. National. Um, uh, let them fight. I'm going to go with experienced decay. I don't want that really to go down. I want it to stay up. I want to have experienced armies. Uh, deselect you and move you all there. No. Um, the fleet can come back down for polis. I really need to make a bigger fleet as well. So I will put another... Eight in there. Get that to a nice round forty. Um, start grouping you all up. This will not be the eighth Stratos when it's done. Um, deselect, come over here, and you can come over as well, please. All oh, right, this is just a twenty-one army, is it? Make it twenty-two. It's probably actually one of the army units that should be going over here, over here, but I'm not complaining. Well, you heavy infantry. So what have you got then? Hurry up. There we go. Uh, Charonid, please, yes. And do with some more. Well, we're getting another heavy infantry, so that'll be 10. And we'll make this another horse and another... That'll do, actually. That'll do. So then we will have... Um, five armies again. Then we could push for a sixth, and we might push for a sixth. So this will be the fifth. Stratus. Um, yeah, I think I'd like to push for a sixth, because... 108 to their 218... Blimey. I also would like to improve these fortresses. Make them harder to take. I would build a fortress here as well. I might actually. I will build a fortress here. I'm going to fortify this whole like area. Oh, he died. Damn it. Well, we'll just put you in charge. It's like our little bit of Asia that we have so far. Um, I imagine, yeah, you won't pay a lot. Oh, you pay just a mere thousand for this guy, which I don't have right now. Um, yep, you support my heir, please. Oh, you're frail. Oh, no. You're a frail governor. Um, but yes, I'm wondering whether... Ooh, eh, it's not really worth it. We can't... Oh, eh. Can't really attack them, but Egypt, I'm wondering, is... Possibly a good target to go for. He's not the. Oh, he might be. He might still be the same. Uh, who are you? Oh, yeah, you might. These guys. Well, I think we still got. Yeah, this is possibly. Oh, no, this is probably. Hmm. No, that's the Antogenius. That. So we've got another Antogenius, or however you say his name. Definitely butchering names today. And you're definitely not... Yeah, that's the for Ptolemy. Actually, no, that's the for Ptolemy. They have a lot of Ptolemies, but they keep naming their kids after each other. Like, well, I mean, we're doing the same. We're having Philip Antropid, whatever, here. Who lost a war, unfortunately, against Phrygia. God damn it, man. How do you do it? Um, so we've got a couple of stacks going. We will go... F oh, interesting. Oh, no, he's got inflammation. No. 
Seek treatment, sir. And arrange a marriage. Are you my heir? You are my primary heir. Um, okay, so zeal. Oh, zeal. That brings tax down. Look for defense. Popularity. I might go with you, I think. Um, supply limit, possibly. Went to tyranny, possibly. I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go with supply limit. Put that up. Because we're going to need it to take on Phrygia, I imagine. Though now if I attack only one, two, three other people join. And that's the problem. Three other people join. They have six. Though they could definitely produce more. They have 13. Couldn't And definitely couldn't produce any more. Who are the other people? These guys. Seven. And then there's Phrygia. Oh, they've actually decreased their army quite a lot. But that's probably because they were all mercenaries. I need to wait until Fridge is in another war, big en a big enough war as well. And we can uh, then maybe think about attacking them. But actually, you don't like me because I'm... I guess we're both major powers, yeah. Um, pay off the families of the victims. Have him flogged. I'll pay off the families of the victims. Um... Alliance. Egypt would actually have less of a chance of getting an alliance with. No surprise there, I think. Um, so I could go for Egypt. Do a naval invasion. It's possible. I need a lot of investment in my uh, ships. Uh, but they have no ships. Actually, they do now. They have 36. Most of the time when I see Egypt play, they never build any ships. And then... I'm like, well, you are Egypt's like known for being um like a naval nation. Like, um they what was her name? Cleopatra, she helped um Antony at the Battle of Actium with a load of ships. But Egypt you're not building ships. But they are now, finally. Like the Seleucids have nearly as many in there, like navy's gonna be in here. It's not even might be up here, but I doubt it. Oh god, the Seleucids are expanding up into the steppes. It's inter interesting. And they're actually at war with Antropotane. To take Media. Who where's Media then? Is it in because I'm not is it in their land or is it Oh no it is very much in Antropotane lands. Ooh. Yeah I'd like to get the sluices on side. 10. How many more can we up, up it? Uh, I actually might, for the next tech, I might want to get improved maximum opinion. Because that would help. Um, can I spend money? Yeah, we could spend money on... Oh, I need that much. Not really a lot. Um, Lucania? Could I spend money on making you an ally? No. Where? Carthage, possibly? There'd actually be less of a chance. So the Seleucids look like they're going to be my my way into going to war with Phrygia. Unless... No. And imagine Armenia. Oh, it actually is a major power, but they are even less of a chance. Brilliant. So we will... Uh... Oh, we have got a few things to sort out. So it's just a lot of rebuilding at the moment, guys. I'm sorry. There isn't any... Any wars I can see that I can... Go for just as yeah. There we go. That's gonna get it to seventy for a pr improved op opinion. But we will uh, see what we can do. Treatment successful. Hey, he's now cured. Excellent. Just what we needed. Just what the doctor ordered. So I may mosaic. I could just go to war with mosaic. Take them out. Keep. Keep the uh, soldiers excited. I don't. That's not even. Why would they be excited? Oh, I mean, I guess they would be. But I'm sure they would uh, rather uh, just be lazy and just do garrison duty instead of having to risk their lives for this state. A splendid event indeed. The Olympics are done. A ransom prisoner. I'm sure we can't 
Oh yeah, I have to still be a mere th a thousand to pay him back. I'm gonna let him die, I think, in in Phrygia. I'm sorry, but it, at the same time, I'm not. I re yeah, I just really need Phrygia to break up. It would be helpful. Attempt to incite rebellion in Phrygia. I will do that. Let's do that. Let's try and incite rebellion. Cost me a bit of military power, but I can get it back if I need. Now we attack Mosea, because I've got nothing better I can do. If this brings in a load of other Gallic tribes, I'll be very, very annoyed. Because I just want a quick little war, take a little bit of land, and... Oh my god, Gatea's got bigger. Like, a lot bigger. Or oh, Gatea, Gatea, I don't know, Gatea sounds right. Let's look at the rest of the world. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty much a mess for uh, Gaul. Rome is almost gone. This, can you just pretend to support? Can you just support the air? Um, Ro yeah, Rome's still held by the Lucanians. I could go into Italy, but it's not the direction I need to be going. I need to be going a long, long way. And I need to be taking Alexander's Empire. I need to get all the way over here. I mean, it's doable. Phrygia out the way, then Seleucids um, are very breakable. And Egypt's probably the only one left and that could face me. But I would like to take Egypt out next, I think. No, I don't want to ransom. Um, okay, we've won that siege. Um, I will side with Philip. Because he's my heir, and I want him loyal. And I don't really want my heir having too many rivals um, when I when he takes the throne. It would not be a, a benefit. Right, so we'll build that. I need some more groves as well. I was looking at running out of places to uh, ex build and expand. Right, so anyway, we've won that wall very, very easily. So let's just take it all. Lovely. Um, now I will move you to there. Excellent. Right, so we've done that. You're wanting trade? You can have my trade. Are you... You're just... You're actually... I can't get to you. Pontus, very much the same. And they're not part of the Empire either. It's not actually... This, like, weird chunk here was left out by Alexander. He just kind of pushed on down here. So, it's, yeah, it's going to be like Egypt. It's probably my uh, most likely opponent. Unless Phrygia breaks up anytime soon. Yeah, zero of the population is disloyal. And there's no risk of rebellion. Ah. Phrygia, you need to break up, punk. Need to have that happen so we can move on. But anyway, I might build while we're waiting. I'll build. I'm building this fleet up so it's just one huge death stack fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Something like that. I like it. That's another ten, sort of. So that'll be fifty. So we could get two um, armies across very quickly to uh, Egypt. Um. Starting experience, please. So, Thrace, could we go to war with you? We probably could. Brings in some other people. Philip falls ill. No. Um, no, nah, I'm not going to bother seeking treatment. If he dies, he dies. He's getting old now anyway. It was probably a waste of money to to give him any sort of a treatment. That's the one I'm looking for. Any treatment is just a waste on this old man. That's that's not for obviously the the real world, but in this game, I, I'd rather get onto my next air and my next guy because he's pretty good. His loyalty, very, very, very good. 
Probably the most loyal person in my court because he's going to take the throne. But yes, we will. Uh, don't know. But yeah, if I if I sound a little bit quiet or something like that, I'm a little bit under the weather. I am not 100%. But uh, it's not going to stop me from giving you a great, great video. It's, I'm going to do my very best. Oh, a Poolian revolt has appeared. And a poolie is here. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're just like waltzing on through. Fair enough. Oh. Oh, okay, he's now not my probably my most loyal subject. He's just lost 20% loyalty because I'm not giving him a position. You're going to become a king man in about a couple of years' time. Your dad's 72. And you're like 22. Jeez, is a huge age gap, but I mean, yeah, you're going to be heir soon. Um, Egypt's definitely sorting out its manpower and cohorts. Maybe Egypt's not the one to go for next. Because the potential for them to build a huge army is uh, quite big. Let's see their provinces. Could I... Any of these are small enough to get a quick war and win it. Maybe Central Delta. Might want to go for that, take that. But again, then I end up with another random bit that I can't sort out. Oh, and I lose even more loyalty from my son. No. Oh, uh, now the Seleucids, yeah, they're, they're really going for it. Um, I bet I can't improve anymore, can I? But I can send a gift. I'll send him a gift. Right. Lion sec. Oh no, alliance sections, please. Oh, it's close. Right, can we please just get a little bit more? A little bit more, right, where is it? Uh, relations, can we improve? How much more can we improve? Oh, not much. I don't think it's going to be done. Don't think it can be done. Don't think it can be done. Yeah, I've just wasted that. Alliance actions. Oh, it's so close and so annoying. I'll spend the money again. Because I'd like... Ah, <sighs> barbarians. Right. Go north. Go deal with the barbarians. Who's not support? You're still not supporting the air. You stupid man. Right, this guy can... Earn some... Oh gosh, he's just... Right, so now my son sees me as a rival. Brilliant. Always a healthy father-son relationship, that. Um... It's really... It's really just... What do I go for? Right, thank you. We destroyed the barbarians, like, a little bit. Oh, okay, we're going to destroy them again. Um, and I'm going to just get rid of that because I'm not really interested in, in whether he uh, gets out of prison or not. I really don't need him. I've got plenty of, plenty of nobles to replace him. Yep, sure. Um, alliance, though. Would you do it? Will you do it? Probably not. I'd like if you would do it. Because that would have been very helpful to actually take on Phrygia. I shouldn't have just... Dis oh, but I needed Thrace. It was necessary. Um, diplomatic reputation. Oh, diplomatic reputation minus one. Oh. Damn it. Maybe I didn't want that. Um, tech. Which one would definitely boost my... None of these currently would boost my uh, diplomatic and reputation with Seleucids. <sighs> and now they're a great power, so actually I don't know if I can make an alliance with them. Yeah, I can't now. Why do you do that? Why did you have to become a great power and take out Antropotain? Now I've got to try the Egyptians, but I bet they'll say no. Yeah, they're a long way off. Oh, I've got gout. No. This man's going to die a painful death. Yep, gout. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, he hates me. Right, I will try and get you on side. Come on. Plus 70. So that will get you to like 60 something. Which might be enough. Which technically should be enough to actually win you over. Make an alliance and then we go to war with Phrygia. And then we split what we what we take. Fair and square. There we go. We're more stable now. Um, yeah, I don't know who to really get a war with. Oh, okay. And now they're just going to come into my lands here. I see you, barbarians. You can try and take Skodra. However you say that. Um, I and how many, we're making 35 a go. I am going to build another army. Welcome them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. One, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll make that. That's gonna be eighteen thousand. Then we're gonna put a load of. I could put heavy horses in. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's I think what I need, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong there. Can you go over there? Because you're gonna be very annoying if you're gonna do that. Um, do something like that. And just go like somewhere like that. Um, yep, I could do with the money after just spending it all on that. And the, this guy just, he supports Seleucid Seleucid. No, go away. Stop supporting this guy. Support my goddamn air. Right, this is going to be a big army, I have a feeling. But the Sokastrid guy can take charge. Heavy cav to join. This is going to be a heavy army, but right now I couldn't care. It's going to be a good army. I actually don't know if it, Egypt has heavy infantry yet. Okay, so you're a 25,000 army. Um, you just go down there. Yeah, I don't know if Egypt has... It looks like it's made its army smaller again. You're appeasing. Um, great campaigns. Civic power, oratory power. I'll go with great campaigns. You're really not helping, are you? 19, I mean, it's in theory, we've only done 19, so we should actually improve our opinion of them by enough, so they should make an alliance with us. But will they? I'm not sure. It could be, it could be all a lie. And if it is, then I invade them with my navy I'm building. I'm going to get ready. I think, with that navy as well. Uh, yeah, Olympic Games. Um, can we build a better fortress over here? I can. I will. Um, marketplace. Uh, we'll build a training camp. Training camp. Two of them. Um, we will build more commercial income. Well, not build, but... You know what I mean. Oh, now we're down to 24. We are losing quite a lot of money, but it's worth it. This is a very expensive army, but it'll be a very good army. So 50,000 there. I'm going to send them down to Crete. I'm going to prepare for an invasion of it uh, Italy. Egypt. Italy's the wrong direction, Pope. Wrong direction if you wanted to do that. S see, they're reducing their cohort sizes ridiculously. Their treasury is very strong, though. It's whether I uh, buy mercenaries myself and hire them, which may be the play that I have to do. Um, you go there, and you come around here. And then we have them on the southern coast, so they're ready. Rhodes is almost ready. Um, you can attack them. Get some experience from it. So we have two armies ready to invade. I might, I'm probably going to need a third. Yep, there we go. Destroyed them. 
Very nice. And we took a boat from them. Even better. Um, I will bring them into port for now. Because I bet this these boats aren't... Uh, 97. Yeah. They can stay in port for a little while. No need to attack for no reason. Uh, but yes, Egypt, I might need to go for first instead of Fridgey because... Yeah, it's still no risk of a civil war. Is there more of a risk of a civil war here? No. Not at all. Okay, anyway, military traditions. We'll do this. Ca cavalry skirmish, military colonies, Trimene cost. Um, I'd like to go, I think, down companion cavalry a bit more. Uh, cavalry skirmish is now an option, but it's definitely not the right option. So the seventh stratus. Yeah, you're not the seventh. It's close. You got it close, but you're the sixth. I'm sorry. First stratus was phalanx is definitely right. Release the funds. No, I'm not going to bother releasing the funds. Um, is phalanx your best. Actually, phalanx is definitely is very much your best. Um, I need to check this because this is probably why I'm losing some battles that I shouldn't be losing. Phalanx is by far the best. Why have I not been doing this? Phalanx is by far the best. Yours, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, yours is also. Phalanx is by far the best. Yours is different though. Yours is very much. Oh, bottleneck's your best actually. Yeah, do that then. Research needed. You, done. Excellent, right. I just hope they fall into. Oh, Sluices of having a. Uh, gonna have a civil war by the looks of it. Ah, damn. <laughs> and they would have had an alliance with me now. God damn it. And we're no, nowhere near getting the Egyptians on side. <sighs> well, that's annoying. And they... And yeah. Ah. Oh, damn it. Seleucids, why do you have to go into the war? I mean, that hopefully means that Phrygia will go into the war soon, but we can only hope. Who are the Saphacids? Well, they sound like they're Eastern. Oh, yeah, they very much are. Hmm. We'll try and get you a position. Thrace, right, can we go to war with you? We could, but we'd bring in a few other people. We'll fabricate a claim. We will do this, and this will probably be our last action of the um, of this part, as uh, we are very much coming up to well, the uh, end of the episode. I think we've come to a nice natural ending. Very much a lot of rebuilding. I'm sorry that there has been. I know you'd like to see more of great expansion, but Phrygia is just too strong and stable at the moment. Very much unlike uh, the UK government, not strong and stable. Uh, yet yeah, that's the war is about to happen in about six months. I will declare war. The Triple Ali, the other ones will come in now, so that's actually okay. Who are the Triple R? Yeah, you, you're very small. Um, anyway, National Slave Output, yeah. And then, I possibly want Army Morale. Oh, Manpower, definitely we want that. Um, you've come across, as expected. I could expand up to, into the up there into the north, but don't know if I really want to. It's n not really Alexander's part of the world that he took. I have this all the Seleucids two months until they have a civil war. Due to thirty oh wow, there's a lot of disloyal generals, that's why. I wonder if it's the same possibly the same idea that I should do with them. With Phrygia. Give, make them have disloyal generals. If so, um, okay, we've got a lot of things going on now. Uh, there you go, Saffacid. You've got a part. You've got a. Uh, you've got a position now. You happy? You happy, sir? Right. Um, can you just yeah keep chasing, please? Um, okay, so we can take. Yeah, I'll take all that. Uh, for freedom. Yeah, I will take all of this. That's... That's fine with me. 
I'll take extra land that I definitely didn't deserve to take. Um, and there we go. That is probably going to be the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Um, if you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm sorry that I've not been 100% today. It is uh, possibly just going to be a one-off. Hopefully I can get over this illness. And um, yeah, until next time, guys, bye for now.